Hello. In this video, we will run through enabling Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in logging. I'll show you two different ways to enable it, which will mean that you can get logging for most situations. I'll show you a number of different ways to access the log file. You might want to enable logging to troubleshoot a client-related issue, such as problems searching for items. Remember that the logging does have a small performance impact, so remember to turn it off afterwards. At the end of the video, I'll show you MSI exec logging, which can be used for troubleshooting installation issues. The Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in has a number of logging levels, which results in data being written out to a log file. This log file is similar in some ways to Dtrace, and the logging levels are similar to those as well. Essentially, there are four logging levels as shown on this slide. The data written to the log file gets progressively more verbose as you go down through the list, as you'd expect. The last entry in the list, called Include Virtual Vault, is an extra checkbox in the UI, as you see here. With this enabled, an incredible amount of data gets written to the log file, and really should only be turned on in order to reproduce a problem, and probably only when working with semantic support. Each of these entries can be made in the Outlook add-in or written as registry settings. So if you cannot set the login in the Outlook add-in, for example if the Enterprise Vault ribbon is not visible, then you can set the relevant registry keys. Remember to take care when setting the entries via the registry. Here we see the registry settings for this user. It is showing maximum logging and virtual vault logging is enabled. The keys are in HKEY current user. If you have to set the keys manually, any missing keys and entries can be created. Remember that the changes you make here or in the Outlook add-in itself don't take effect until you restart Outlook. There are three ways to access the client log file which is generated. You can view it from the Vault Diagnostics window, as we see here. You press Ctrl and Shift and click on an EV toolbar icon, and then click on Vault Information, and then click on Open Log. You can also get it by going to File, Enterprise Vault, and then click on Additional Support Information, and click on Open Log. It's also worth noting that from this Vault Information dialog, there's also a Send Log button. This attaches the log file to an email, so an end user can send it to their help desk, for example. The final way to get the log file is to click Start, Run, and open the percent temp percent folder and locate the EV client log files that way. There are usually a few in that folder, as you can see here. As with Dtrace, it can be quite important to look at the file size before you do anything, and invest some time in learning how to use a good large file text editor. Sometimes for EV administrators, it is confusing to decide how to turn on login. So let's see a couple of example scenarios. In this example, if the add-in is not being displayed at all, then the best way to enable login is to turn it on via the registry. Without the toolbar being displayed, there really isn't another way. In this example, if the problem is that some archived emails are not opening correctly, they're just displaying the shortcut, for example, then the login can be enabled via the add-in or via the registry. Finally, let's talk about MSI exec logging. This is invoked by a specific command line, as we see on this slide. The only thing to change for your environment is the path and the file name for the log file, which can be generated. This type of logging is really only used if there's an issue installing or uninstalling the Outlook add-in. When you run the command, the installer will start like normal, but in the background, MSI will be creating the log file for you. Here we see that taking place on this test machine, 
and after a few minutes of installing, we can see the log file on the screen now. Figuring out the problem from this log file can be quite tricky, and you're likely to need help from semantic support. So in summary then, we've seen that the Enterprise Vault Outlook add-in has built-in logging which can be enabled either via the add-in or via the registry. In addition to this logging, which will help with troubleshooting client-side operations, there is also the option to create an MSI log file which can help for troubleshooting installation issues. Remember that much like dtrace files, these files can get very large very quickly. I hope that this video about Outlook add-in logging is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.